Uh, hello, this is Mac, Master 4048 here. Um, and um, today, um, today in this video, I'm just going to be making the first um, episode of a new series that I am making for my YouTube channel, uh, which is um, called The Tech Dictionary. And now, basically, what I'm going to be doing in a series is basically talking about the definition of different things to do with computers, technology, uh, basically anything to do with technology, um, and just talking about my opinions on them, uh, and uh, basically a fairly um, advanced um, explanation but not too hard to understand. So in this um, episode, um, which is the first episode, I'm talking about com um, computers because um, it is something that has many different categories and what quite a lot of these um, videos will be about. So I thought it would be um, an almost perfect um, thing to talk about in the first episode. Uh, so um, the exact definition of a computer, um, or Wikipedia definition, is basically a programmable machine that can do different um, operations. Uh, com uh, computers can do um, many operations per second or millisecond. Uh, they um, keep on getting more, more advanced all the time. Uh, about 10 or 20 years ago, uh, people um, had um, about 50 ki um, kilobytes or 1000 bytes RAM. Now, uh, 4 gigabytes or 4 um, billion bytes of RAM, I think, um, is um, quite a small amount at the moment. Or um, uh, will probably be a um, very small amount in the uh, next few years. Uh, now, there are um, many different types of computers. Uh, that you uh, can build your own computers, so you could probably invent a new type of computer, for example. You could probably build a desk computer that's it's basically inside a, made inside a desk or something like that. But I'm not going to be talking about um, silly um, computers like that. Uh, so there are um, just normal um, personal computers, desk, or desktop computers, um, which are basically um, t and desktop towers. Um, they are an average normal computer, um, which you might be using to watch this video, I'm not sure if you're using a supercomputer or a network. Um, but anyway, um, uh, a um, normal um, desktop computer uh, is um, normally fairly powerful compared to a laptop because um, there is more space and size of it and uh, this, um, it is probably about 10 or 20 centimeters wide normally uh, about um, uh, half a meter to a meter long uh, and about half a meter um, uh, height uh, so a computer um, uh, there are also different types of computers like laptops tablets, um, PCs, and uh, small laptops, mini laptops, um, and um, different uh, other types. Uh, so computers have different um, hardware or components. There is a computer case, uh, which is basically the whole structure for everything. Um, it is where you place all of the um, components or hardware, or where the computer manufacturer would um, place them, if you have not built your own computer. Uh, which if you have, um, then I'm not sure why you're watching this video, but still there might be some interesting stuff in it anyway then. So it is quite simple building a computer. Um, now uh, there is a PCU, a power supply unit. Uh, so um, basically what this is, is it's, um, it's where you plug in the cable um, to uh, power your computer or a laptop to charge your um, laptop. Uh, so. Um, about, I think most computers have probably about 500 watts now. If you want to use an i5 or i7, you probably need 600 to 700 watts now. Uh, so um, uh, the PC, a PCU that you get um, depends on what hardware you have um, and how much power everything uses. Uh, so I think Intel Atom uh, processors are very weak, um, but um, they use very little power. Uh, there is um, also a motherboard. Now, a motherboard is the main part of a computer. This is the center for all of your computer. Everything that um, is inside your computer um, is connected to a motherboard. Unless if you are watching this video in 2020 and you are using a quantum computer to view this video. Uh, so, um, there is um, also a processor. Now, a processor um, basically processes um, all of the information and everything in the computer. Uh, a processor is one of the main parts of a computer. Uh, it's um, most processors at the time of making this video um, are probably um, uh, two or three gigahertz. They have a fairly good processor, um, but 
uh, I think probably about 10 years ago, probably 500 megahertz was a good amount. So um, processors, I think every three years, uh, almost double in power, I think. Um, but of course, um, these um, results um, might change when computers um, need some nanotechnology to build them, um, if they don't already yet. Uh, so the, um, next there is a hard disk. Now a hard disk is per basically permanent memory. Uh, you can read it or write it. And by read, um, basically what I mean is uh, run applications from it and write, um, actually save files to it. So um, uh, the, um, a CD, for example, um, it is normally um, um, readable only, so you can't drag and drop files on a CD or DVD. Uh, so um, a, normally an, um, a normal hard drive that's in the computer is should, should be reason right and most storage devices are now. Uh, next there is RAM or memory. Now this is a temporary um, storage form, um, memory. Uh, so um, whenever you load an application or something, it will probably be loaded into the memory. Uh, there is virtual memory uh, and um, just normal memory. Virtual memory can actually use hard disk space, um, but uh, a lot of hard disk activity can decrease the life by a tiny amount. Uh, so, um, uh, about 4 gigabytes um, RAM or memory is quite a good amount if you watch um, a lot of YouTube videos um, or if you use a web browser or do some simple video editing. But 8 gigabytes is a good amount for gaming or video editing uh, if you do it um, a lot. Uh, so um, the next um, important part of a computer is a video card. Uh, this can be also known as a GPU, graphics processing unit, uh, or a graphics card. Uh, I'm not sure if there are any other ways um, to that these can be called, um, but those are the most important or commonly used ways. Uh, now basically what this is, is uh, all of um, uh, when you open a program or something, it's, and we'll go into the graphics um, uh, processing unit and then go into the screen. So um, it basically processes um, everything that you can visually see on a computer. Uh, this processes things like videos that you see, films, uh, and um, things like, for example, video rendering or use a gra graphics card. Uh, a lot of motherboards recently um, have um, pre-built um, pre uh, built-in graphics cards and um, things like um, sound cards, etc. Uh, the next part of the computer is a sound card. Uh, this basically processes most of the sound and everything, makes the sound work, the speakers work and everything, uh, and um, also includes all of the ports um, to put into the computer case. Uh, but um, a lot of motherboards now contain built-in ones. Uh, of course, if you want to make music, it's best to have a dedicated sound card. So if something in the computer is dedicated, it probably means that it is not built in. Uh, now, um, those are the, most of the main parts of a the computer. There might be other things that, like heat sinks, but uh, computers get more and more simple and have more things built into them, etc. Uh, in my opinion, this um, isn't great built, um, having things built in, but it does decrease the price um, and size of a computer, um, but uh, does decrease the power of it also. Uh, computers have many things like components, basically things you can plug in, reports like PS2, um, not sure there's PS1 or anything, uh, and things like USB, etc. Uh, probably soon even the cloud, I'm not sure. Uh, but um, things that, this is things like the keyboard and mouse and um, how you control the computer. Um, a computer can also run um, operating systems, um, or probably most computers actually run an operating system. Uh, so um, computers... Um, I have several different op main operating systems like um, Microsoft Windows, Mac OS X, and Linux. Uh, Windows, um, in my opinion, is the worst operating system of them, um, but it can be quite good for things like gaming, um, or if you just um, want a cheap computer that works um, and um, is fairly good. Um, but um, a lot of people might argue with Mac fans. It is all just um, your decision and um, what you prefer to do on a computer. So um, uh, Linux is open source, free, um, and most, there aren't a lot of programs made for it compared to Windows and Mac, but it is open source, everything is free for it.
maybe not everything but most things, and it is very fast and uh, it's a lot more stable and secure than other operating systems. Uh, Mac and Windows are built um, on Unix, uh, which I think is coded in C, um, or was really coded in C in the 80s um, sometime then, and Unix um, is enormously secure. Uh, so if you um, are scared of um, getting tons of viruses, uh, then you should think about getting Mac or Linux. Or some good antivirus software if you trust some program that um, says it deletes your um, viruses, etc. Now, um, uh, there are also applications or programs. So everything on um, your computer, um, if you have a computer, um, is um, probably an application, like your browser, internet browser, um, everything like that is an application. Uh, it can be deleted, you can uninstall applications, or you can install new applications. Now you can um, run applications from um, different um, extra hard drives, so another component of a computer is, or external components, uh, is um, an external hard drive. Now this is similar to a hard drive, a bit slower, um, but um, it is external, so um, you can use it on multiple computers. So it is great if you own several computers. Uh, this also includes USB sticks, um, etc. Uh, so I guess you probably know what they are. Uh, there also, um, something I haven't talked about yet is SSDs. I've missed one component, which is um, basically does the same as a hard disk or hard drive, but um, it is um, a solid state drive or SSD. Uh, it is enormously fast. It can have read or write speeds of over 200 megabits a second, not megabyte. Actually, I think it is megabytes, yes. Uh, sorry, megabits. Uh, megabytes, actually. Sorry about that. Uh, so, um, of course, it depends on what you're transferring, or if it's um, a zip with a thousand folders or something, of course, that'll, that's all slow it down a bit. Uh, so, um, uh, SSDs also have no moving parts, because if you have a normal laptop with a normal hard drive, uh, then um, if you move it about, you're basically decreasing the life of the hard drive um, by quite a bit. So, moving a laptop with a normal hard drive is a bad idea. But SSD, good idea. Uh, so um, SSDs at the time of making this video um, are um, quite expensive um, compared to the amount of size they have. So if you want um, something cheap with an enormous size, you should get a normal hard drive. Um, by the way, quite a good tip is um, to have a small SSD about 60 gig and um, have a hard drive which is one terabyte. So you can load all of your programs and everything from an SSD which is enormously fast and um, just store all of your files like films, um, work etc on an ex external hard drive but an SSD is a lot more stable uh, so anyway um, this is the end of my first episode of this series and I'll probably imp improve in sk um, skill of um, making this a lot later this might not be um, uh, professional but um, this is basically the basics of a computer um, anyway, thanks for watching this um, video. Uh, please check out my different videos and tutorials um, and other episodes of the series on my channel, which is MacMaster4048, and thanks for watching this video.